Today's video is sponsored by Surfshark. Fellas, online security is no joke, and the opportunities for security leaks are growing more plentiful every single day. With Surfshark, though, you can secure your digital life across unlimited devices and rest easy knowing you're backed by a 30-day money-back guarantee. Surfshark proves its worth with a large collection of privacy tools, an excellent app, and unlimited device connections. So if you're looking to buy best censorship, get early access to game, or even stop ISPs from throttling you, Surfshark has got your back. Now, Surfshark Surfshark's virtual private network actually keeps your online identity safe by encrypting all of your information sent between your device and the internet, keeping your personal data protected from big companies and out of the hands of cyber criminals. But that's not all. Surfshark VPN swaps the real location of your device with a new one by changing your IP address, effectively bypassing region-locked content, thus allowing you to virtually travel to any country around the globe. So guys, if you're interested, down below in the description is a link. You can use code CROSS to get a whopping 80 3% off plus three extra months for free here. This is a fantastic deal, guys. And again, with Surfshark, it's 30 day money back guarantee. Literally no risk in trying it out. So check that link down below. And big shout out to Surfshark for sponsoring today's video. Fellas, are we getting a sixth subclass? Now, more specifically, are we getting a third darkness subclass? We've seen this question pop up from multiple folks over on Twitter. And I know we haven't even received Strand yet, but the arrival of a new subclass has raised some questions. Now, before we can Continue. We did see some talk about Strand not technically being a darkness subclass. Guys, this is 100% still a darkness subclass. If you actually go back to the Lightfall showcase, Bungie clearly states that the design philosophy of light was creation and darkness was much more psychic. And that influenced the approach Bungie took when making Strand. Now guys, Lightfall is the beginning of the end. And the final shape actually marks the conclusion of the 10 year light and darkness saga of Destiny. For all we know, there may not even be a year of seasons after the final shape. Like literally guys, we could get the final shape and that be it. That could literally be the final shape, the final expansion, the final season, everything done, which is kind of crazy to think about. Now we know Bungie plans to release a new IP by 2025 and Destiny as a franchise will continue. But the future of Destiny 2 is kind of up in the air. Will we get that Destiny 3? Will old gen consoles finally be deprecated? Now some evidence here that we want to present to you. And the reason why this video even came up is actually because of a tweet here from QJ. He actually pointed out that the new UI diamond revealed in the press footage when the life of Vidog was released is now a diamond, which doesn't really leave room for a six subclass. Now, our current subclass layout actually separates both light and dark. So we just assumed when we got a new darkness subclass, they would just fill this location, similar to that of our light subclasses. Now, granted, what you see here in front of you doesn't mean they have to stick to this design. Someone on Twitter even proposed another arrangement that could be implemented to fit another subclass diamond. Now, looking back at the cadence of releases, though, for new subclasses, it's been just just over two years since we got stasis in Beyond Light, and we only have one year until the final shape launches in 2024. Strand won't even be fully fleshed out until the end of this year, and yet we expect Bungie to simultaneously design an entirely new subclass. Looking back, that is essentially what happened with the refresh of our light subclasses. Each season brought a 3.0 update to Void, Solar, and Arc, and now we're getting Strand. So it appears that Bungie can handle consistent output of ability updates. Now, in an interview between Ability Sandbox Design, Kevin Giannis and Eric Smith and Press Start Australia, the questions were asked, quote, we have five subclasses right now and many are expecting a six in the final shape to make for three light and three dark. After designing Strand, how do you feel about the remaining design space for abilities in Destiny 2? And is there another big fantasy you still want to try? Kevin actually replied, I feel good about the design space we have. I hope we prove that with subclass 3.0, we can take a defined subclass like Arc, Solar, and Void and bring newness to them. Thruster. Thunderclap, Gathering Storm, Child of the Old Gods, Lightning Search, all new abilities that are nowhere near available to you in the old subclasses. Maybe it's nice naivete, but the abilities team doesn't like to give up or feel like we're at the end of the systematic road that we're on. I think we believe pretty heavily that there's a considerable amount of design space available for us to consume and discover more of. In terms of what design space would be around for a new fantasy of subclass, that's a hard question to answer. Because if you asked me this after stasis, I wouldn't have been remotely putting myself in the mindset set of what strand could be. I think, should we sit down and think about a space of a new power? I have all the confidence in the world that the team we've assembled on combat gameplay can pull it off. Now, Eric Smith actually chimed in. I agree. There's still plenty of ability design space in Destiny 2. Like I said earlier, for every ability idea we execute, we leave a ton of others on the cutting room floor. There are new emotional fantasies, new mechanics that aren't necessarily causing and preventing damage. There's all sorts of things that we love to explore in the future. I think grappling hooks are awesome and people love using them. 
kingdom. We didn't ever want to like shoehorn it into Destiny 2, but because of the kind of emotional fantasy we created with Strand revolving around rope and string, it was the perfect time to make it happen. I think there's a lot of other stuff lurking out there, waiting for the perfect time to be implemented into the game. Now these answers dodge the question really on whether we'll receive a third darkness subclass, but it does confirm that Bungie has the resources to whip something together over the next year, and it's entirely possible that it launches similar to Strand with a basic set of abilities that will be expanded over the remainder of the year. And the question is, what could the third darkness subclass be? Now, not many people remember this, but in the Bow of the Disciple raid, there was actually a mural in the acquisition encounter that depicts Lubre, the planet Rolk is from. Without getting too deep into the lore here, the planet actually had two suns. One represented the light, and the other represented darkness. Now, in the darkness sign of the mirror. We can actually see three designs. And we speculated back then, when the raid launched, that based on this, there will be three darkness subclasses. Blue, representing stasis. Green, representing strand. And yellow, well, yellow we don't really know yet. Now back then, we thought green would be poison. And Bungie even talked about in the Vidog about how they wanted to design something new, not what everyone expected them to make. I mean, everyone was pretty convinced we were going to be looking at, like, some form of corruption, tied to, like, necrotic grips and thorn, osteostriga, etc. But Bungie didn't go that route. Now, if we're going to speculate here, this third subclass could be Luster. That's right, guys, Luster, which we believe is the name for the yellow auras that the pyramid tech generates. It was a major part of the Bound the Disciple mechanics, and it's going to be a major part of the Lightfall mechanics. The Dark Cabal are actually kitted out with backpacks that generate these fields, and this is even hinted about in the lore. So we may actually see Bungie convert that into an ability that we can use, perhaps even a subclass, but keep in mind, guys, who knows? Bungie Bungie obviously doesn't want to go the route that's most obvious. They may make something completely different. Now, ultimately, we're just going to have to wait and see. It's obvious whatever we get will be big. I don't see Bungie backsliding on the amount of content that they're pushing out, considering it's going to be the end of this dark and lightness saga, and it's going to be Destiny's 10-year journey. Bungie's really big about anniversaries. You saw what they did with the 30th anniversary event, one of the best events Bungie ever did. In my opinion, I think Lightfall is going to be really good, but I think Final Shape is going to ball out. For so many reasons. The end of the Light and Darkness saga, the narrative will finally be reaching its conclusion, the future of Destiny as a whole, and the fact that it's the 10 year anniversary. You have all these things coming together, guys, making for the perfect storm. So fellas, that is my thoughts on the third Darkness subclass. Let me know in the comments below what you think. What do you think that final subclass would be? Do you think we would even get one? And I want to leave you with one more thought. By no means would this be balanced. But what if the final shape is the ability to combine every subclass in the game? literally allowing you to create the final shape for yourself. But Cross, that wouldn't make sense. How can you have ignitions with stasis? Would you have void grenades that suppress and jolt? Listen, I get it. If it sounds counterintuitive, it's because it is. But I can't help but wonder, what if? Fellas and ladies, thank you all for coming and watching. And as always, slap that like button like your mama told you right.